Hey what's up guys it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel today I am back with a new story the name of this story is what if Naruto mastered Jiraiya's way both in strength and charm and yeah guys it is an unscripted story and my own idea now before continuing this this will be a harem a story so make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and follow me on my meta what if channel as well and stay tuned for a story there as well and moving onwards I have a little suggestion that I need to ask from you guys I've been thinking of making stories like proper series like stories but not on both Meta and Apollo channel because they have their specific content I mean stories and short movies and movies but I want to make you know a written scripted stories by writing them down and then presenting them in the par forms of different parts like um six part story or seven part story which each part being at least half an hour long it might give us an in-depth of the story so i've been thinking of creating a third channel for that i might need a name suggestion as well because yeah why not since you're the guys who helped this community grow and made me reach where i am i mean i have asked for the previous channel name from my parents because i told you when beginning the meta if channel that it was my mother's suggestion that I go with this one, taken from Meta from Facebook. So yeah, anyways, I've been thinking that why don't I ask you guys this time around since you'll be the one listening to the content. How about you guys suggest suggest the name of the channel and then I will pick the names that I like and put them in the community tab tomorrow and then we can pick up with a nice name that you guys want me to have and then we can pick up the idea that you guys want to see firstly as a story and then I will write it down properly and then we will begin the perfectly scripted series on that channel. How about it? Do let me know in the comment section and yes you can begin your suggestions right now as well. Spam them in the comment section of Apollo Ochiha or even at um, Meta What If channel as well. And yeah we'll see where things go from you know today onwards. And by the way No Nut November has started so yeah make sure you don't nut the whole month. <laughs> It's a challenge that, yeah, I'm taking seriously this month as well, and I hope you guys as, do as well. Anyways, enough said. Without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Our story begins 13 years after the QB attack in Konoha Gakure no Sato. As we go towards the said village to see that sun was rising, and everything seemingly looked like normal, but it wasn't. For you see, last night, a team was sent on a mission. And the mission was to retrieve back the traitor Sasuke Uchiha, the last remaining Uchiha alive, loyal to Konoha, who was betrayed it. And unfortunately, he was able to escape, but the Genins that returned back were all injured badly. And amongst them was Naruto Uzumaki as well, 13 year old orphaned resident Jinchuriki of Konoha. And currently he was seated inside a hospital room looking out of the window completely bandaged up from head to toe because of the wounds that were covering his body especially his chest as there was a huge gash there because of the chidoris that were placed there twice as naruto was in deep thought he realized what sasuke has said you will always be weaker no matter how hard you train unless you learn from a sounding like orochimaru who has picked me not you he won't be able to become strong not even in your dreams. As this thought was going on, a person appeared there, standing on the other side of the window. Hey kid. What? Said Naruto coming out of his stupider, looking towards Jirai with wide eyes. Irasani? <laughs> you know what? I'll allow you to call me that name just for now. So how are you feeling, kid? Yeah, I don't know. I've been... I failed, I mean. I guess the council is pretty much pissed. No, if anything, I'm surprised they're pissed at the Uchiha. What? They're pissed that because not only you, but the other clan heads kids have also gotten quite a lot hurt. And the civilian council is not pleased with Sasuke as well because they have joined hands with Orochimaru, who is the one responsible for killing Hiruzen Sarutobi, the third Hokage. Yeah said Naruto, gritting his teeth, as that is something he also regretted, failing to save his Gigi. As that is when Jiraiya said, Well, don't mope around here, kid. I'm here to bring you a great proposition that I think and doubt that you would hardly deny. W what? What is it? How about you become my apprentice and we go on a training trip for a shorter span of time, away from the village. It might take your mind off of the things that have happened and allow you to become strong. 
As Naruto immediately understood what he had to do, as Naruto then said, bowing down in front of him, I will do whatever it takes to train under you, Jiraiya Sensei. I'll stop calling you even Irasani and train wholeheartedly. And not only that, I'll learn each and everything from you. Each and everything, you say? Yeah. Hmm. I guess you can be the perfect student that I've wanted, always wanted. Sure, why not, kid? So are you ready to go? Of course I am, said Naruto, snapping his head upwards. As some of the stitches opened, ow, 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 that hurts, that hurts. As that is when, the door slid open and in came Sonata. Jiraiya, what the hell? How many times do I have to say? Don't make a scene. Oh, uh, sorry, Hime. As Jiraiya jumped in from the window and there was a huge poof of smoke. Wait, so you're, you were standing on a toad? What? Do you expect me to stand on some wooden legs? N no, I was... Yeah, you know what? Sorry about that. Well, kid, stop moving. I'm gonna restitch this. As after the stitching was done and the bandages were placed. Now stop moving for the time being. I heard that Jiraiya already talked to you about the thing that was going on between you. Yes. Are you okay with this, Bachan? I mean, if you wish to, Naruto, then I'm fine with that. Oh, then I'm okay with it, Bachan. You better take care of him and make sure he's not a pervert. Well, yeah, I mean, the kid is quite, you know, adamant that he would learn everything, but I'm not gonna teach him everything. But I have made a promise that I would learn everything. You don't need to learn that stuff. What stuff? You're too young for that, kid. You're too young, says Sonate. As after that we see, Naruto, once recovered, then met with his friends, who arrived there. As Sakura, his teammate, was also there as well, as she looked down with sadness. I'm sorry, Naruto, it all happened because of me. It didn't happen because of you. It's because of Sasuke's choice, Sakura, that it has happened. As that is when we see, Ino then said, Well, enough about that bastard. His Naruto was taken aback. Wait, so now he's a bastard? Well, obviously, yes, dummy. Because you put your life on line and in danger alongside the rest of them. I basically did the same thing, lost both of my teammates like Sakura did. But because of Sasuke. And that is something that I will never forgive him for. But I thought you had a crush on him. Crush? <laughs> the only thing I had on him was, if anything, was resentment. The only thing I acted like that in the academy was because I thought he was my type and besides Sakura being my best friend, I needed her to be motivated to stay at her top of the game. What? Yes. Obviously, I knew you liked the damn kid and that is why I acted as a fangirl to be a competition that you needed to attract him. I... I see. <laughs> well, I guess I was worried for Nara, then. What? What do you mean? Said Sakura. I thought you have been quite down since what has happened with Sasuke not being able to be brought back. I was kind of, you know, anxious that you might not even talk to me or speak to me. What What gives, Naruto? Why, why do you think I would do that? Well, you were kind of a lot bitchy when it came to Sasuke, Sakura. Said Ino. Not you too. Enough about that. Said Shikamaru, the next time we meet, Uchiha will bring him down. You can train all you want, Naruto. But remember this, we are also training. And once you return, we will go on a mission again. And this time, we'll beat the crap out of that damn Uchiha. You bet, Shikamaru. I'll return like a new person that you have never seen before. And that's my promise. And so, Naruto left with Jiraiya on the training trip. So, kid, are you 100% sure that you really wish to learn everything? From my charm to my strength. Yes, Sensei. Hmm. Huh. Well, kid, you're gonna be a monster once you return. Both in terms of strength and in charm. I'm gonna make sure of that. As in the blink of an eye, three years went by. As now we go back to Konoha where we see Sonata Senju was quite giddy and smiling. As the door slid open and in came her student and her assistant. Ah, look at that. She's in the sun. Sensei sure is happy today. Well, she's bound to, after all, because Naruto is going to return today. Wait, so so that is today? Of course it is. Said said Tsunade as she stood up. Well, what are you two doing here? Well, we're here with the forms that needs your attention immediately. As now we see, she sighed and slumped down on the chair. Oh, at this point, I'm not gonna be able to Meet him. <clears throat> you certainly are quite happy to see as if a son is returning. 
because to me he is like a son. Says Sonati with a smile on her face. As Shizune as well as Sakura were happy. Because they too missed Naruto. And haven't been heard from him or Jirasama for the last three years. As now we see. In the nearby village. Jirai was knocking on the door standing on the outside. With a knowing smile on his face. Come on kid get up already. We're gonna leave now. As a lot of giggles were from heard from within. As the door opened. A kid came out with a lean body that looked like that of a s swimmer. Uh, but there was a lot of muscles that were hardened because of the training there as well. But not too much as he, his hair was down longer to his shoulders. And while, as Naruto then said, What is it, Irasane? As his chiseled jawline came into view. I'm having fun in here. After all, you told me that... After a lot of hard work and training, you need to earn yourself a lot of relaxment. And plus, I can't allow my company to leave, not without a proper goodbye. Come back, Naruto-kun, said multiple voices. As Naruto then said, see you later, Irasani. As after that, the door slammed shut. As that is when we see Jiraiya literally slammed his leg onto the ground. Damn it! I sure did create a monster. He said with a frown on his face, and that turned into a toothy grin. And I'm damn proud of it. As after that, we see it took almost two hours that Naruto came out dressed and still was filled to brim with lipstick marks all over his face and on his clothes. As not one, not two, not three, four girls walked out in yukatas that were still heveled as they looked like they were messed up, blushing from head to toe. Well, I'll see you all later, girls, once I come by. Make sure you do, Naruto-kun. Make sure you do. As after that we see, Jirai turned towards him. You sure are something else, kid. Of course I am. Whose student did you think I am, after all? Mine, obviously. Ah, <sighs> I how I wish that I, it was simple as that when I wrote that book down. You don't need to worry about it. After all, my new Icha Icha Tactic series is much more, well, groundbreaking and selling and allowing many people to settle down as well because unlike you I place tips down there that can help men win over women and women to win over men that they desire well I guess that is right how about we head back now yeah we are near Konoha after all right yeah so how about we take a detour and you know no we're not going to the hot spring country it will take us at least one day more and you know Sonata might get antsy hmm you know what you're right Sonate Bachan might get antsy, said Naruto, as his mischievous demeanor gone, as he has now an endearing smile. I miss her, you know. Of course I know you do. So, how about this? Gamatetsu or Raijin? You know what? Yes, use the flying Raijin technique, kid. And so Naruto then grabbed onto the shoulder of Jiraiya and then placed two fingers on his forehead and closed his eyes and then both of them disappeared in the yellow flash arriving outside on the outer gates of Konoha where Izumu and Kotatsu were waiting and suddenly they were shocked to see both of them wait what what Jiraiya-sama who's this yo Izumu Kotatsu said Naruto as they were shocked to see that this was Naruto he was wearing a black jacket with the underneath being orange and a black t-shirt underneath with the same Sonata necklace. He was wearing orange long trousers with black shinobi sandals. And his headband was now placed on his right arm. In the form of a bracelet. As now we see, Naruto entered inside. As soon as he entered, the female population took notice of him as Naruto winked and gave a smile left and right. Until... Naruto bumped into someone, and that someone being Sakura, as Naruto caught her instantly and was now picking her up. My oh my, Sakura-chan, you certainly are as beautiful as ever. I mean, you have certainly grown in some proportions. Um, wait, what? What? said Sakura, because she was just shocked to see such a beautiful face, and not only that, she was also quite amazed at what the man just said. Wh what do you mean by that? Who even are you? said Sakura, getting quite defensive. It's me, Sakura-chan. Naruto. Na Naruto? Sakura said as if she was basically clarifying that. But, but, how can, how can this be? How can he be so 
Hot, said Naruto. Good looking? Well, it turns out that I had a late growth spurt, and what, once I hit it... <laughs> you know what? Hit it? Yeah, good one, kid, said Naruto, looking towards Shiraya. I was unstoppable. Well, that I can see, said Sakura with a blush. Well, where are the other others are at? How about you go and meet with Bachan, Sensei? I'm gonna go and take a detour and meet with the others. As now we see, Jiraden rolled his eyes. Just don't take too much time. Of course I won't. As Sakura, was, who was blushing mess now, then brought Naruto to where the others were. And the first people they bumped into were Hinata and Ino, who were speaking and talking. As Naruto licked his lips and then said, Cold mine. And so, now we see go towards Jiraiya and Tsunade, who have been talking after reacquainting themselves for, after three years for almost two hours. Where the hell is that damn kid? Why is it taking him so much time? As Jiraiya gave a knowing smile. Oh, he's busy somewhere. What do you mean he's busy? Says Tsunade with her heart being dropping at faster pace. Don't. Don't, don't, don't tell me you. As Jiraiya with a knowing smile began to nod. No, 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 not him. Well, he wished to learn everything. From the strength to the charm. So I made him the king. As now we see, he was punched on the face by Tsunade with such ferocity that Jiraiya was flung across the wall. As there we see, Naruto now flirting with Shizune, who was a blushing mess as well. As Tsunade stomped there. Oh, uh, hey, Bachan, how are you doing? N Naruto? Is that, is that you? As Naruto then brought out a rubber band from his teeth and tied his hair that was long into a ponytail. As just imagine Aaron Yeager's hair when he tied it in a ponytail while overwatching something in a manga panel that was quite famous in the reels. As now we see Naruto then looking towards his bachan. As Shizune could, uh, alongside with Shizune who was a blushing mess, Tsunade could see Naruto's facial features. He really outclassed both his father and mother when it came to, well, physical appearance and appeal. As Sonata then said, while giving a bone crushing hub, where have you been? Well, let's just say I was busy. While on the other side, we see inside Ino's room, Ino, Sakura, and Hinata were resting. And they had a satisfied expression on their face with a hue of red. As now we see, Naruto was bonked on the head. Ow! What was that for, Bachan? You... Tell me, you didn't become a pervert. No, I didn't become a pervert. I became the ultra... King... No, God of perverts. Nazivu too was punched on the faces. As now we see, Jirai then said, I'm proud of you, my student. I'm honored to call you my pupil. It's all thanks to you and your training, Sensei. I can't believe this. I have to beat the crap out of you again to make sure you're not a pervert ever again, Naruto. Yeah, you can try that. I mean, it worked with, well with Sensei, isn't it? So he'll be the first one who I beat. Yeah, you can- wait, what? No, Naruto, don't leave me here! As the beating of Jiraiya then began while well, Naruto sneaked out with Shizune. As now we see, the council called for a meeting because they wanted to know just how stronger Naruto has gotten. As Tsunade was there with a pissed off expression and Jiraiya was there as well with a swollen face and a lot of bandages. With swollen lips as well that smacked and sp caused a lot of spit when he spoke. So how strong he got. He has gotten a lot stronger than before. I'm sorry but we can't understand what you, what you said. Tsunade-sama, can you... I don't wish to but I have to. As after healing, thank you Tsunade. Well, he has gotten a lot stronger in both terms. In both form of appeal and strength. As not a greater deed. You have created a monster, Jiraiya. You were more than enough. The world is not ready for two Jiraiyas yet. Oh, but he isn't a Jiraiya. Tsunade. He is Naruto. The one and only Naruto. The god of perverts. As that is when the whole council on unison did face slap. So you made the kid a pervert. Is that all? No. He is quite strong when he needs to be. You don't need to worry about him losing to Uchiha or any other else out there. As now we see, Naruto then entered into the council chamber. As Naruto, I said on Mibuki Haruno, as well as Tazumi Inazuka. As Naruto, after seeing him, they realized that how 
he became the god of perverts because with that look it was quite easy to well woo women's left and right and so naruto then began to woo the whole council his way after sweet talking and coaxing them they gave not only gave him their his family home but also his heritage as well as allowed him to become a chunin without any test and allowed him without any test to ease up their satisfaction and once it was done and settled we see naruto brought in his home both mibuki and tizumi who after a few hours walked out both limping and with a satisfied and red expression on their faces as after that we see naruto was relaxing in his home because he needed some relaxation but there was a knock on the door and there stood sakura who was a little bit mad with her mother alongside with tizumi nezuka and the other girls who he had met Please ladies without before fighting how about you come inside as Naruto after that coaxed them and made a lot of clones to make sure that they all felt satisfied it was morning as we see Naruto in his underwear wearing a bathrobe walking downstairs where Tsunade was seated as she slammed her face ah oh, god damn it people have called a lot of noise complaints and erotic ones as well Naruto what the hell have you been doing what do you expect As Tsunade rolled her eyes, is Shizune here? Shizune, Sakura, her mom, Ino, Hinata, um, Tsumi, San, and yeah, I guess that's all of them. All of them are here. Sh seven. You, how how is that even possible? The power of the clones. All hail the god of perverts, Naruto. Said Jiraiya. Well, god of perverts. I have heard that you are also quite formidable and strong. Of course I am. Well, Sasuke has been discovered. And turns out he has betrayed Orochimaru. What? Yes, he has betrayed and killed Orochimaru and him and a few team mates of his known as Team Taka have gone and joined the Akatsuki. And they have been going on around and snooping around about near Gara. So they want to kidnap him or something from what our intel has told us. Hmm. So we're heading to Arsuna. Of course it is, but the way Sakura is Chan, Chan is, I guess she's quite sore after the last night, so I have to go alone. No, Naruto. I think it will be fine, Hime. Not only Sasuke will be back, Naruto will be able to deal with all the threats. Just trust in him. And Naruto then did the same thing, placing two fingers and closing his eyes and focusing, and then he disappeared in the yellow flash. What? What was that? That was the next stage of the Hiroshin technique. So he perfected it. Yes, without any projectile, he can. teleport wherever he just thinks of or in the midst of the battle anywhere he wants with any place he wants as now we see Naruto arrive there as he saw that Gara was fighting off against the Akatsuki as a clay user as a puppeteer was also there long service Sasuke and his team as all of them were wearing black cloaks with red robes as Naruto jumped in as he stood there well hello there pretty lady said Naruto looking towards Karin are you Nozumaki yes so am i what do you know Wow, I mean, he's hotter than Sasuke, and he's in his monkey as well. Say, how about you leave that Tamey over here and come near to my side? Dope. It's it's you, isn't it, Naruto? Of course it is. What? I got your you got your pants wet after seeing me like this in all my glory. <laughs> You're still the same idiot as ever. Oh, I'm going to show you, Chiha, how stronger I've gotten. As Naruto then disappeared in the yellow flash appearing behind him with a single neck chop Sasuke was knocked out cold and what followed soon was a beating beating both of the Akatsuki members and capturing them as well as the others as Naruto stood there as his eyes morphed slowly back to as they were while his orange pigments and amber eyes disappeared which were similar to a toad as Naruto then said looking towards Gara it's been a long time Gara it certainly has been Naruto you certainly have changed So have you? I mean, you became a Kazakage. Not that I'm pissed or anything, but you kind of cheated, you know. <laughs> Only you can say that in such situation. But regardless, I thank you for saving me. Yeah, I guess I'm okay with it. But if you, if it is okay with you, can you forgive her? She's kind of my clansman, and I kind of like her. As Naruto winked at her as she blushed. All right. And so now we see Naruto returned with Sasuke Uchiha after having a ball at. Suna the next day and as soon as he arrives Sanade punched him you know how I worried I was you idiot and who is she 
and Uzumaki Bachan, and ow, that hurts. Don't hit my moneymaker. As after that we see, Naruto rubbed his face and healed it with the palm that was placed there. You, you learned healing ninjutsu? Of course. I told you I have a kang for learning anything now. Thanks to this sensei of mine who has given me the blessing and teachings to become strong in both fields. What fields? Field of being a shinobi in all of its art and in women. As after that we see, Naruto winked at Karin who blushed again. Another one, another one. You know Naruto at this rate, there's gonna be a demand to put you in CRA, so go ahead Bachan. Because the girls that I am with are the ones that I like and I aim to marry them. At least those ones that I have been sleeping with since returning back. Because that is what Sensei I, I agreed upon. How much you have slept with? Mm, at least 100 women or so by this point and now. You're a womanizer. I can't believe this. Jirai is gonna get it once you return. As now we see Jirai in Amegakure. <laughs> and I just felt shivers run down my spine. Oh well. Gotta focus. And find out where this organization known as Akatsuki is. As Naruto then introduced Karin to all of his other girls that were there. And they were none other than uh, Mabuki Haruno, Sakura Haruno, Ino, Yamanaka, Anko Mitrashi, because I want to, and not only that, Hinata Yuga and Tenten as well now. And now Karin was added alongside with Shizune. As Naruto then, Naruto's girls then said to him, How much are you gonna add, Naruto? I mean, we're glad that you have such a big family, but I thought by big family you mean a lot of kids. The more the merrier, right? And plus, not like I can satisfy all of you, said Naruto with wiggling eyebrows that caused them all to blush. Enough, you pervert, said Sakura. No more. Besides, you all gotten already my mother and me. And all of us. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. I swear that no more. As Naruto crossed his fingers. And now we see. After Jirai returned, barely escaping... They knew that the Akatsuki was threatening and they needed to take care of it. And so all the other nations were gathered. But before they could come up with a solution, the war was declared by the Akatsuki. But Naruto in the middle while was in a war of his own because you see, his previous flings have come by now. Kuretosuchi, who he didn't know was Oniki's granddaughter, as well as Mabui, who was the assistant of the damn Raikage on vacation when he hooked up with her. And finally, Mei Turumi herself. The Mizukage. Oh god. As after the meeting ended, the three of them surrounded him. And Naruto, after beating, getting a beating a bit, revealed everything to them. And so Naruto with a swollen face introduced the three of them as well. And got a beating from all of his, well, soon wives to be. Because how he was going to abandon them. Naruto made sure that he wasn't because he was starting when, and even wasn't even serious with, you know, settling down and all that when he began with them. So now he was serious and made up with all of them and was sure that no one will ever get into his harem. But as they say, whatever you wish, it always doesn't come true. Because now we see Naruto meeting with his other flings, which was Kyoki from the Snow Country, the daimyo of it, and the princess or now the queen, as well as the princess of the demon country, who were also pissed at him. And after an all-round beating again, Naruto finally settled down and realized that he didn't need any more women, and they were all of them at least, the major ones who could cause him trouble. So, Naruto tied the knot with all of them before the war, and made a promise that he will return. And as soon as the war began, he dealt with the Akatsuki, helped most of the time, and in the end defeated Zetsu, as well as the one called Tobi or Madara. And not only that, placed a lot of chakra suppressors on them using the new Harishin technique that he has developed. And finally, after chakra suppressors that he, they couldn't use the chakra, Naruto used his white atomic Rasengan that he created with a little bit of nuclear fusion that was created by his chakra fusion as well. And then, a white mushroom cloud was seen as the whole Katsuki was eradicated. Not even their bones remained. As after seeing this, the whole village was shocked because this was his true strength of Naruto, Uzumaki himself. A literal Kami no Shinobi god, title holder now. And so, in his bingo book he was mentioned as a, as a triple S rank Shinobi, who both could do a lot of damage to 
to men because he can capture any woman's heart as well as physically if you are his enemy. As Jariah, if anything, was so proud as he was currently sitting near J Minato's grave. You know what, Minato? I am happy and proud that your son is my student, an ideal one. He learned Master Jiraiya's way like you, but not in terms of strength only, and charm as well. Jiraiya said as he sucked in his snout that was coming out of his nose, and I'm damn proud of it. Ah, there you are, you idiot, said Tsunade, who was there as well now, after the end of the war. As now I see, she picked him up. As Jiraiya, then after learning from Naruto's tricks, then applied one, acting as a drunk and confessing his feelings, in which if the girl had feelings for him would accept, and so she did, as Jira then winked at us, saying that Naruto, the god of perverts plan, has worked, and his new Ichacha tactics was really helpful, and now he was able to finally back Sinade. As this is where we're going to leave the story off, guys. I hope you like this one, and if you do, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. As stay tuned for our story on Metabatif channel as well. As this is Apollo Uchiha, and I'm signing off for the day. Peace.